Hey guys, Sonny Bryson here, and what is the best way to start saving up money for retirement if you are self-employed, for example? And by the way, I wish I made this video a long time ago, but again, it takes time to create these because you gotta go through everything first. But in this video, I'll give you five ways to go out there and save money for retirement if you are, for example, self-employed. I'll tell you about, for example, simple IRAs, Roth IRA accounts, self-directed IRA accounts, everything, including individual or solo 401k accounts, and also SEP. Okay, so there's a lot of different ways to go out there and then invest into retirement. However, not every single way is equal according to what you actually want. And by the way, I have a joke here. And the joke is basically, there's only one good year in business, the year when you make a lot of money, but you forget, well, Medicare, Social Security, that's all you also, all those taxes. And on top of that, no one is going to help you with retirement. It is all up to you. So the only one good year in business is the first year when you don't know that you gotta do all this stuff, but then the next year you're like, oh my gosh, I have to pay all these taxes, what am I gonna do? And on top of that, business does not last forever. So the goal is you walk away from this video knowing exactly what to invest your money into and how to do it and which account is going to be best for you. That's my goal right here, okay? Now if you guys are new here, I post videos every single day so make sure to also subscribe and hit the bell to get notified. And on top of that, also destroy the like button. Now I have a warning guys, okay? The warning is this, okay? Skills do not translate. I know a little bit about this stuff because basically I'm also an accountant. However, the idea is if you do wanna get a CPA, I recommend it. If you wanna go with a company that cares about you a lot, I recommend Vanguard when it comes to investing, they have the best plans over there and the best structure. Am I sponsored? The answer is no, however, they're fiduciaries, meaning they don't get benefited, for example, commissions when they actually sell you something, no. It's all based on what's best for you after you break it down for them. That's why I love using Vanguard. Now, let's get started here. Number one, if you are self-employed, yes, you can actually go ahead and invest, for example, into a Roth IRA account. Now, by the way, Roth IRA money, by the way, a Roth is just a retirement account. So if you wanna grab money and send it over there, that's not using it correctly. You gotta send money over there and then go ahead and pick your investments. Don't just send money over there and forget about that, no. You gotta pick your investments. If you don't do that, you're not actually doing anything whatsoever and you're not actually investing. Keep that in mind. But overall, a Roth IRA does have its limits, okay? And the idea is you can only invest up to or contribute up to $6,000 every single year. But if you're 50 and older, you can do at least $7,000. And by the way, every single year it goes up. Why, Tommy? Because basically, inflation. Inflation goes up, meaning it will let you go ahead and invest more money. But it's not because, oh my gosh, no, it's inflation. That's why they actually allow it. Now, the big thing is this, guys. If you are self-employed and you are making, for example, a decent amount of money, well, guess what? There are caps on if you can actually qualify for it. If you make way too much, you can't qualify to go ahead and invest into a Roth IRA. For example, me, I can't qualify to go ahead and invest into a Roth IRA. Now, what makes you disqualified? The answer is, if you make more than 139K adjusted income, you can't qualify as an individual person. However, if you're married and you make more than 206K, then you can't qualify. Damn, Tommy, I really wanted to go ahead and invest money into a Roth IRA. Well, you're in luck because there's also a backdoor. And by the way, a backdoor in finance is just a fancy way of saying, hey, there's a way to do it. And by the way, yes, it's legal. Don't worry about it, okay? However, the backdoor is this. You can actually still open a traditional IRA being self-employed. And on top of that, there is no cap on your income or anything like that. So everyone out there can qualify for this. But the idea is it's going to be with pre-tax money, meaning I made 10K, I don't pay taxes, I put it, for example, into my traditional IRA, and boom, I have the money in there. The Roth IRA is post-tax, meaning I made 10K, I pay taxes on it, I can put that money in there, I never get taxed. But the idea is this, if you don't qualify for a Roth IRA, what you can do is basically, hey, I'm gonna contribute into my traditional IRA, and then eventually I can go ahead and convert it, whenever you want to, by the way, into a Roth IRA. Now, the problem is this, okay? you will pay taxes on the money. However, there is no 10% penalty here because basically it's going from one retirement account to the next one. That's a good thing here. So do I recommend you do this? The answer is yes, if you want to, okay? But this way, but there is one clause here, right? You have to have money in cash to pay the taxes because if you don't, you have to sell something and that's not what I want for you. So you can actually go ahead 
and then eventually convert it over to a Roth IRA, right? Put that money in there, but make sure you have the money to pay the taxes. And by the way, you can roll it over step by step if you have all the money and save the money you actually need to actually do it. That's what I recommend when it comes to the back door having a traditional, then convert it over to a Roth IRA if you make way too much money. But if you can qualify for it, take advantage of a Roth IRA. It's a great way to basically invest money 100% tax-free in the future. That's the idea. Now, option two, guys, is going to be a simple IRA. And by the way, this stands for Savings Incentive Match Plan for Employee. They forgot about the L here, but by the way, they all mean something. An IRA means Individual Retirement Account, okay? But the whole idea is this. And by the way, this is not the one I use. The one I use is all the way to the end of the video, so stick around for that one. But overall, a simple IRA does have some crazy things I don't like about it, but overall, you do have to mandatorily invest at least 2%, okay? You gotta do that. There's mandatory. So if you don't do it, there's gonna be a problem here. And on top of that, there's a limit to how much you can actually do. So the limit is $13,500. However, if you're older, you can go ahead and do an additional $3,000. But what I don't like the most is this, okay? There's a limit there of $13,500. Now you might say, Tommy, that's a lot of money, that's enough. However, it isn't enough because in the future, when your business starts to make more and more money, that should be the plan, right? You might wanna go ahead and invest more and more money, but you won't be able to because basically there's a cap of $13,500. And by the way, whatever you do with this plan for yourself, you also have to do for your employees. So it can be very complicated, so just make sure you understand exactly what you're going to do and talk to a CPA about this, okay? That's the whole idea here. Now, on top of that, guys, Crazy thing here is that you can actually use the money in that simple IRA to go ahead and also invest into real estate. So that's also an option, but make sure you actually understand how to do this and don't just go out there and do it on a whim, okay? Everything has to be set in place a certain way. So get educated on how to do it like that if that's what you actually want to do. And on top of that, guys, again, this is also a pre-tax account, meaning I made 10K, I invest that money, right? I get taxed later on. I don't like that. Why? Because later on is when you'll need all that money. So it is pre-tax. You're not a Roth option for this one. And that's why I really don't like it that much. So simple IRA is a cool way to do it, but it's not the way I would do it. It's not the way currently I'm doing it. Now, number four is an SEP plan, which stands for Simplified Employee Pension Plan. Okay. They forgot about another piece. It'd be SEP. S-E-P-P, -P, but they didn't put that in there. I don't know why. But the cool thing about this one is basically you can invest up to $58,000 as of 2021, okay? And every year, again, it should be going up. And by the way, they all have a cap. Why? Because basically, people that make a lot of money and want to avoid taxes like crazy might go a little bonkers and basically avoid everything. And that's why they all have a cap to make it equal for everyone, all right? That's the whole idea here. But with a set plan, guys, is usually for individual people, okay? Not for like having a big company with a lot of employees and all that stuff. No, usually just for like one employee and just so on. And that employee usually is going to be you. However, there is a limit here. Yes, you can invest up to $58,000, but it can't be more than 25% of the money that you actually make, all right? The money you actually pay yourself. Now, what does this mean, Tommy? It means you have to pay yourself a ton of money. Meaning, for example, okay, if you want to go ahead and basically invest, all right? Again, a lot of money, $58,000, right? But it's only a limit up to 25% of your actual like earnings. In reality, divided by 0.25, that means basically, you gotta be paying yourself at least 232K, okay? And it's also a cap how much you're gonna pay yourself with this plan to actually qualify for it. But overall, if you pay yourself this much money, guys, you'll basically be on one of the highest tax brackets, and that's why I don't like this plan, because in order to contribute a lot of money, you gotta pay yourself a lot. And usually, that's going to mean a lot of taxes, and that's why I don't do it. But tell me, but when you contribute, that goes against your taxes, right? Like it's actually like deductible. The answer is yes. However, it's also not a Roth option. I don't like that. Yes, you get the benefit today, but tomorrow when you're older and you need the money, you're gonna have a problem then, okay? SCP plan is great, pretty cool, but not the one I use. The one I use is this one right here, guys. It's called a solo 401k or individual 401k. It's usually for just one person, okay? Not having a bunch of employees and all that stuff. By the way, 
When I say employees, you can still have, for example, contractors, that's fine, but you can't have lawful employment going on or else you won't qualify for it, all right? But overall, it's the same thing here, kinda, but a little better. All right, because with this one, you can have, for example, your own 401k plan you invest money into, but on top of that, you can go ahead and also contribute up to 25% of your compensation, which is actually a lot better, which means the way I use this plan is very simple, okay? I have this plan with Vanguard, okay? Vanguard is great. They break everything down for you and help you out a ton. Now, the idea is I have a Roth 401k plan with Vanguard, all right? So that money, I go ahead and put it in there, meaning, all right? I max out my Roth 401k plan, all right? How much is that? That's $19,500, because basically that's for retirement. In the future, I can go ahead and roll that over into a normal Roth IRA, 100% tax-free. However, I can go ahead and also contribute up to 25% of my compensation. Now, for me, I only pay myself a reasonable salary of around $48,000 a year. Now, that means, okay, I can only go ahead, well, if I pay myself $48,000, multiplied by by 25, right? Because basically, that's the limit here. I can go ahead and basically invest also $12,000. However, this money cannot go, for example, into a Roth option because basically, that only benefits the employee. I, I know it doesn't like make that much sense to you. It might not, but let me explain here. Overall, this money you put into, for example, it has to be, for example, benefiting the actual company. Okay, that's 25%. So that money goes, for example, into a 401k plan. Why? Because the company can go ahead and basically deduct that from its taxes, and that makes sense according to the law. So I go ahead and I invest, for example, 12K. So in reality, my company invested, for example, 12K for me, right? But to benefit them also. And on top of that, I invest myself an additional $19,500, which means I'm investing around $31,500. But tell me, you're missing out on so much money because in reality, the cap is, again, the cap is going to be $58,000 combined between, for example, the Roth and also the normal 401k plan. But yeah, that means I'm missing out on, for example, $58,000, right? Which means I'm missing out around $26,000 extra I can go ahead and put away for retirement. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. But again, the problem is this. But that means, again, guys, I would have to go ahead and pay myself from $48,000 to $154,000, meaning that's a lot more taxes and it just does not make sense financially. That's the idea, so that's why you gotta do the math for yourself. But the plan I use and I love the most is this individual 401k plan, okay? It's the best one out there. That way I can go ahead and max out my Roth 401k plan, also a Vanguard, 9,500, but I can also go ahead and basically invest 25% and put that, for example, into my 401k account. That's the idea and that's what I do right now. And by the way, 401ks are cool, right? Very cool. But that money is going to be in there for the next 30 to 40 years and you can't take it out or basically you'll be penalized and also be taxes on it and that's why I don't like it. However, with a 401k, once you, I mean, with a Roth 401k, once you roll that money over, you can take contributions out, no problem. And that's what I like about it, okay? It's more flexible and it's better. So that's why I always choose to do, for example, the Roth option. Because in the future, it's going to benefit me a ton more. So again, overall, guys, okay? So overall, guys, there are a lot of options. Um, Roth IRA, traditional IRA, um, simple IRA, um, SEP, also for example, individual, right? There's a lot of options out there, but you gotta pick the one that's best for you. And for me, the one that's best for me is the individual 401k. Now guys, hopefully this video helped you. And the goal is to walk away with knowing things and the options you actually have. So go out there and figure out exactly which plan is going to be best for you and talk to a CPA. And if you want to invest, I recommend Vanguard. If you wanna know what to invest into, I have videos on my channel and I'll link one down below. But overall, I invest into index funds. That's basically it, all right? It's a lot low cost and it also makes money in the long term and I'm taking that much risk. That's the overall idea. And by the way, I have a link down below to M1 Finance, what I actually use for investments. So if you wanna copy my portfolio, you can actually do that and open up a Roth IRA over there. Or for example, a traditional IRA, if you wanna do the whole backdoor method, okay? But for example, for my Vanguard, I also have a video on that too, and I'll link that down below also. I'll see you guys next time. As always, thanks for watching. Any questions, comment down below, let me know. Like, subscribe, hit the bell so you're notified. And if you wanna call me and talk to me from Monday to Friday, I have a third channel call Ask me Bryson, link down below also. So an appointment is free, don't worry. And on top of that, also I have a second channel called 
Tommy Braxton Show, where I post there every single day also. I post three times a day on three channels. And also follow me on Instagram if you have any questions also at Tommy Braxton. See you guys tomorrow. And as always,